In Adam Smith's view, prosperity rested on just three elements. Peace, easy, easy taxes and the tolerable administration of justice. The European single market really should rest on just two. Mutual product recognition built upon enforceable contracts. That's all you need. We don't need hundreds of commissioners and th uh, thousands of officials and MEPs building a higher and higher edifice of regulation. What's happened as we've gone down this road of introducing environmental and social and other standards is that in practice we erect barriers to entry. We allow, and I think all of us know this privately, we allow the EU institutions to become a honeypot for lobbyists and corporate interests of all kinds wanting to extend costs that they happen to meet already to all of their prospective competitors. Thus we have the opposite of a single market. Instead of extending consumer choice, we end up reducing it in the interests of a handful of big corporate producers. And then we wonder why we're getting poorer.